how do you talk about things you do not agree on with your girl? Mm. That's like, how do you have a political conversation? No, that's not really what was asked. Well, I mean, that's a topic, especially today, that a lot of people, you know, it causes issues. Like a uh, very famous one, Kellyanne Conway and um, her husband, uh, what's his name? Bob, Tom, Con- Conway, whatever. So Kellyanne ran Donald Trump's um, election campaign when he won. And her husband w- was like a never Trumper. And so when Trump got into office, she became like his chief of staff. And so you got her and you got Trump putting statements out and things. And he's on Twitter just talking all kinds of shit. And people are like this, you know, she's the president's chief of staff. And her husband is just publicly disparaging her boss, basically. And it was constant. And, of course, the media loved it and ate it up. And uh, in the divorce papers, that was one of the things that she cited is you know, what caused the rift that eventually led to them splitting up. I mean, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, it's like your significant other, whether you're with them or not, should always be building you up. And if they're every time you're either there or not there, they're always bashing you or berating you or talking shit about you and tearing you down. It's like, that's, you can't have somebody like that. That's, that's on your team. And, you know, that's a very famous recent case that just happened. And, that led to their divorce. So it's, it depends on the, the topic. And you, the important thing is masculinity is calm is you got to remain as calm as possible, especially when your girl, girl is trying to troll you, which they're typically going to do. And the more butthurt and perturbed or perturbable you are, the harder she's going to troll, troll you. And the more she's going to stick the knife in and, throw some lemon juice and a little salt on it and try to agitate the wound a little bit to, to get you upset. So it's, well, I think that every action, um, is going to have an equal and opposite reaction. And I mean, that's proven with Newton's third law of physics. So there's clearly something that had to have triggered the first person who's reacting to have that reaction. So someone's actions initially are causing someone else's action or reaction to react in that sort of way that you're claiming is not a way that should be respected or... Yeah, you shouldn't be tearing your spouse down publicly, and that's what a spouse or a significant other or whatever. I mean, he shouldn't have been speaking down on her boss or her the way that she's, you know, supporting her lifestyle or bringing income into her house, supporting her family. Yeah, when I saw him doing that, I was like, man, that relationship is on borrowed time. I'm surprised mm-hmm. she stuck it out with that dude. Because mm-hmm. it was constant. Well, he probably still should ongoing. have changed his attitude and the way that he's spoken to her from the beginning. Because it was probably... Trump broke his brain. Mm, he still it, hates you, the you guy. You can't blame Trump for, his, for the way that he spoke to his significant other. He should have been an adult. He should have been a tr- real man. He wasn't. He's very squishy. He was a coward. Yeah. And he should have taken responsibility for his actions. Yep. And instead, he got divorced. Yep. And now he's probably sitting at home alone on a couch by himself. Well, they got kids still, so they share the kids. Mm. With his with his string bean. <laughs> with his string bean by himself with some lube. <laughs> And uh, she probably has the kids most of the time. No, they share them, like, I think 50-50. That's what... And one of the daughters the court, just turned that's, 18. That's and, what the court always says, but realistically, the, the court always gives the children to the mother because the mother usually. is the most important thing for children. I don't agree with that at all. I don't care if you agree with it. That's just 
That's kids American need a law. mother and a father. It, it's but that's very, American law. Well, statistically, when there are two agree parents that, in the home, the kids get fucked up. I do and agree that parents. There was just an article I was reading the other day where they were. Um, oh let me say what I agree. A guy with. was like a life lifetime uh, attorney who basically dealt with criminals all the time. He says the number one biggest thing that causes people to end up in the criminal justice system is shitty parenting. And typically it's, you know, you got single moms and no dad, no grandfather, no uncle, no masculine presence a smart, at all. A smart single mother is never going to be alone, and she's always, always going to have male figures around. Well, if she was a smart single Statistics. mother, she would be single. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And especially if she voted for Trump and she was on Trump's side, I guarantee you she had other strong men there hanging out with her kids well um yeah, her kids are her daughter's all lefty too. my grandma was born in like the 30s so i was raised partly by my grandmother mm-hmm. so i feel like my grandma was like a man and there we go and um a you know a wife a grandmother she was everything you know and she she went out there and did she have her new balances no she, she yeah she, did. she wore sandals a lot she wore flip flops and went outside. She cut her own grass. She did the yard cut work. Cut her own grass. She did That's all my lady. She cut her own grass. She did her garden. We had fruit trees. We had she everything. She didn't. Yeah, she trimmed her bush. She did have like a her her ex husband would come by. My um my grandpa Burns would come, but he didn't live with us, and I rarely saw him. But um like she was like she was stern. Like you know, oh, I learned yeah. from my grandmother like to be strong and different things. So. Like, grandmothers, I feel like... They're the matriarchs. They are the matriarchs. My like, grandma's the matriarch. You know, sometimes, like, I, I grew up with my dad, too, but I wouldn't much call him, like, a father figure. You no, know? That's the grandma. <laughs> he was a figure, but he wasn't a fatherly figure. Yeah, but dad was cool. Um, so it's just, like, I feel like if you... A lot of people, kids, like, um, that are raised by their grandparents, they turn out pretty good. If, or their moms. Or, or moms, right? too. Some, do- some, some, some moms. Statistically, the numbers show that, especially men raised in single um, parent well, households where it's just the mother, but most of the dudes are in prison, came from single parent households. Yeah. Well, all three of my boys those are, are the not num- in prison. Those are the numbers. All three of my men are. Well, you got cats, so that doesn't count. I have two cats and a dog, and they are. Cats are not the same thing as humans. My cats are killers. That's it to be They're prison. animals. There you go. Yeah, they're, they're animals. Cats. They're allowed to be. <laughs> they're animals. Argon climbed the tree the other day to fight a woodpecker. Did he oh win? Oh, my God. No. I told him, get down before you lose. Before you lose. Woody Wood was like, come. Come at my come at my nest. But also, it's it comes from, like, the type of family you grew up into. Exactly. Like, um... You know, if you grew, most of your family has no education. They grew up in like, um, you know, not in right. nice neighborhoods, and it's the and you have a lot of your other family members are in jail or been to prison or something like that. Then yes, the the reoccurrence does happen because some of the times those male figures come out and they teach them like, hey, this is. They think they're cool because they look up to them, and so it's, sometimes it's like whether there's a male figure or not. Um, it can still reflect. I'm not talking on about just any ways. male figure. It's got to be somebody that's actually masculine, not just a uh, a biological male, if you will. No, I'm just saying in general, like if you have family members hey, too. A biological but, male doesn't matter, of course. Yeah, exactly. The, the <laughs> no, stats either, are. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The stats are when you look at the overwhelming majority of men in prison all grew up in single fam. You know, they had basically a mom to raise them, and that was it. There was no dad. There was no uncle. There was no grandfather. Total lack of masculinity in the house. But most of those those people that are there are they all came from, from broken homes. Yeah, low income, broken homes. That's not all just low income. It's all 